Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today we are viewing this lovely 13 by 6 3D full frontal skin melt lace pre-plucked human hair lace front wig and this is a loose wave and just let's get into the lace let's get into the lace this is a quality lace and as you can tell i did not have to pre-pluck or i didn't have to do nothing i didn't have to do nothing the wig has done it for me already the wig came bleached not plucked like someone did it with their bare hands like look at how amazing this wig is um and again um, I love wigs that can go from ear to ear. I have a very low hairline and that's exactly why we're doing the bold cap method. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to lie, I did kind of mess up because the, nothing to do with the wig cap. This wig cap is really, really good actually. It's very, very skin-like. But I don't know, for some reason the wig cap method always flops on me. I have tried so many different methods and I just don't know. But we're again, we're, we're learning here, we're both learning all together, we're beginners here. Um, I don't know, maybe I should take my time on it next time, who knows, but that's what we're doing anyways. And the wig cap method kind of saved me because I'm using glue today and I do not like glue on my hair at all, even though I think the left side was a bit of a flop because it kind of like cut all the way. But anyways, let's not get disheartened. The wig cap is on, it's secured, now let's style this wig and as you can see, just look. Just look how it just lays onto my head. Absolutely stunning. Um, so this is the glue I'm using. It's Hair by Shopee glue. Um, it took a while to, to dry, to be honest with you. And again, I don't know if it's my method or not, but I've used this glue loads of times, to be honest, and it hasn't disappointed me. So yeah, I think it was just me today. I think I was just having a bad hair day. But let's just get into, not even a bad hair day to be honest, I think I was having a bad styling day because I let this wig down. Although this wig didn't let me down because you will see, as we start styling her, you will see how she helped me. Because one, she is easy to style. Two, she is easy to style. <laughs> But yeah, let's get into it. So what I do is I put, usually I do it in sections, but I wanted to do it. I should have done it in sections, to be honest with you, but I wanted to, well, time was not on my side. Let me tell you that time was just not on my side. I had to get the kids. You know how it is as a mum of two working from home child. It is ghetto sometimes. But yeah, I'm just cutting away the ear flaps and um, getting into styling her. And like I said before, I wanted her to melt right into my skin. So I had to go in with a tight band. But um, before I cut the lace off, I just wanted to make sure everything was laid down flat. And that's what you do. Because that way it won't move when you're trying to style her just like that. So you want to go in with a tight, tight, tight band. And I learned that from Daydrian. Like... <laughs> So as you can see, I opted for a side part because I felt like this wig just... <sighs> okay, so basically, when it comes to wigs with deep, deep, like, frontals, this is a 13 by 6 something about a side part, like a little swoop. I tried to do the swoop. I can't do the swoop, but I tried, child. But um, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. And when it comes to wigs like this, like I say, you need an easy going wig to help you in your struggle. Because if it was a hard wig, it would just be like, if I had to pluck and bleach this, I'd be crying, you know? So make sure you invest in just amazing wig that you don't have to do too much work and to take too much hours and time. But as you can see, like I said, the wig helped me out because again, the wig was already styled basically. So yeah, I'm going in with some water now to revive the curls and then I'm going with some mousse as well like a mixture of both because I wanted really like a wet and wavy kind of look this is a loose wave so I wanted that kind of like wave to come back and it did the curls were popping I absolutely love this wig on me again I didn't dye it so it's a nice color anyway so you really honestly don't have to do too much and that's why you need to invest so invest in this aft sister wig guys so um I didn't want it too wet so I went in with my blow dryer just a little bit but that was literally all of the styling that I did I love the fact that I did not have to use my tweezers at all or burn my hands with the bleach because that's what I usually do <laughs> but yeah this is the end guys I hope you enjoyed I hope I'm getting better at styling these wigs but try 
girl, I'm trying. Next time I'm going to Daydreams, I'm going to sit in her chair because that's who she usually styles my wigs. And child, we're going to do something magical. But as you can see, for beginner friendly, it is a beginner friendly wig. And the lace is lacing. I'm going to do close up real soon of the wig and the lace. And the lace is honestly undetectable. And that's what it's called, undetectable lace. Absolutely stunning. So yeah, make sure you check them out below. Make sure you... And look, look at that. Look at that. But yeah, make sure you check them out below. All the links will be below. Thanks for watching. Bye.